Monticello, Minnesota nuclear plant at the beginning of the Mississippi River. We're talking about a river, major tributaries of the United States go into the Mississippi. Hanford runoff into the Missouri, ending up into the Mississippi. And then we even had in uh, outside of Pittsburgh, Beaver Valley, some of those rivers feed into higher river. Those goes in the Mississippi. Uh, a lot of the nuclear power plants in Illinois, those all go into the Mississippi. Uh, this map doesn't really do it justice. It was kind of off a little bit, but it gives you the general idea. Here's these nuclear power plants in Tennessee. Those go into Mississippi, Kentucky. The Monticello, they have admitted to a uncontrolled radioactive release. And usually what they like to do is flush it down the toilet. And they think our Mississippi River is a toilet. And actually it'll end up the Gulf of Mexico. And that's when you have fishermen saying that the fish don't have the fishy smell anymore. The contamination has gotten so bad that you don't even know if it's from corexit or from radiation. There's so many factors that are destroying the Gulf of Mexico. You have the runoff of Florida's sugarcane industry. That's kind of like a scapegoat. Uh, what's really going on is you have over 30 reactors that are ending up their waste into the Gulf of Mexico. And Minneapolis Monticello nuclear power plant is just one of many. And this release was reported actually on 9-11. I kind of missed it with the Indian Point uh, had their release on 9-11. Just a quick diagram, but I thought you should see this. Monticillio's radioactive release. Check out a monitor, the closest one I could find. It's still kind of far away, but over three months it's slowly been ticking up and it, uh, just a week before the report it was at a peak of 215 Monticello, Minnesota we have a unanalyzed condition potential uncontrolled radioactive release I just get a kick out of this, this is the most important information and just how they they shorten radiation to rad and release is REL, so people might not pick up on that. And then accident mitigation. So they admit to an accident, and they're trying to mitigate the situation. Yeah. So check valve was leaking. The leakage may have exceeded the leakage rate assumptions made in those dose analysis calculation for emergency core cooling system. Leakage outside containment following a loss of coolant accident. They call it a loca. Loss of coolant accident. Therefore, this is being reported in accordance with 10 CFR for an unanalyzed condition that significantly degrades plant safety and 10 CFR for any event or condition that the time of discovery could prevent the fulfillment of safety functional structures or systems that are needed to control the release of radioactive material, mitigate the consequences of an accident. It's a story right before 311. But just check it out. They have a license to pollute. The first major application to the MPCA was for a permit to Northern States Power, now Xcel Energy, to discharge certain industrial wastes from the reactor. So the application doesn't mention radioactive pollution, but it is like a permit to discharge industrial waste from its reactor directly. Feds allege contractors falsified tests at the Monticello nuclear plant. Federal investigators have accused two former contract employees of willfully violating procedures and falsifying reports about safety related tests of casts filled with high level nuclear waste stored at the Monticello nuclear power plant. The improper testing was discovered by an NRC inspector who checked the videos of the work. The casts were rechecked before most of them were placed in a concrete bunker outside the reactor building. They could remain on site for years because no permanent national storage site has been built for such waste. Both of the unnamed technicians were testing for cracks on welds sealing the lids on six casts that had been filled with highly radioactive spent 
nuclear fuel rods. Test procedures call for placing dye on the wells for 10 to 15 minutes and then looking for cracks. Investigators discovered from videos that the workers waited far less time, as little as 23 seconds. Yet both workers falsified forms reported that they waited for 10 minutes. An RC official said XL needed to improve after inspectors found lapses in the reactor's flood response plan. Radioactive water escapes at Minnesota nuclear plant. Radioactive water leaked into the ground and into the Mississippi River from the Monticelli nuclear power plant. This plant is about 50 miles north of Minneapolis, and they sent out the idiots to go fish by the nuclear power plant to try to prove it's safe. They say less than 2,000 gallons of water went into the ground and some of it entered the nearby river, according to Tom Bushy. Ooh, Bushy. Let's trust the Bushy, a spokesman for the Minneapolis based utility which owns and operates the plant. The leak was discovered by a security guard last night and shut off several minutes later. So this was only about 10 years after it was built. So it was, this, this happened early in 81. That just gives you, this is a Fukushima Daiichi type of reactor clone. It was giving you problems only 10 years after it was built. Two years before 311, XL Energy has found higher than natural levels of radioactive tritium in a monitoring well at the Monticello nuclear plant. One sample found a level of 21,300 picocuries per liter of tritium, which is slightly above the Federal Environmental Protection Agency drinking water standard for tritium of 20,000 becquerels per liter. So, the EPA allows 20,000 picocuries per liter? Tritium is a radioactive form of hydrogen. Excel recently drilled a new well near the reactor because workers detected a leak inside the building. Plant engineers believe the tritium came from a leaking valve that was repaired in May. So they say, workers are drawing water from near the reactor building and the well and putting it into containers. Excel says the water will be reprocessed through normal plant systems which do not come in contact with the environment. Excel says if someone considered drinking water contained 21,300 picocuries of tritium for a year, he or she would receive an annual radiation dose of 0.97 milliram. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, dental and chest x-rays result in 25 milliram of radiation. This is how they trick you though, because an x-ray doesn't stay in your body. Look at this plant! It looks like a Fukushima clone! <laughs>